Welcome back to another video, everybody. Today, we're going out for some grouper. Show you guys where we went, what we did, and how you can get a grouper yourself. So, let's get suited up and jump in the water. First spot is just a shallow spot. Kind of get used to diving. Make sure all your gear is right. And right when I jump in, I see two barracuda. We don't usually shoot these guys, but when the freezer is empty, the freezer is empty. I got lucky and stoned this fish with that shot. Since my drag was locked, that would have been one hell of a fight trying to wrestle this thing back to the boat, running all up and down the reef. But luckily, since we had just jumped in the water, I was not too far, and uh, I was able to just drag this guy back to the boat. As you can see, my flopper also didn't open up. So again, I got pretty lucky um, that I got a good shot on this and the fish held. Put it on ice, kind of get warmed up and start the day right. After a few more dives, we decide to move. We were warmed up and ready to go, had the guns dialed in. So now it was time to hunt for groupers. Groupers love holes, caves, anywhere they can hide and tuck. It doesn't have to be very big. If they can fit, they'll go in there. They also like sandy roundups just like this one. There's lots of sand on the bottom so they can just scoot right on in there whenever they're threatened or if they're chasing uh, bait. In this hole, as you can see, I didn't see one that time, but I shot a little snapper. We've all done this before. On this next spot, I see a grouper that got spooked by another diver. He comes towards this hole. I try not to scare him off, so I just glide right into position and pull the trigger. Again, with a perfect shot, I was able to stone this guy. Groupers love to hole up, and they'll run into any cave, wrapping your line all up and down the roof. My dive buddy was right there next to me, as always. Dive with a partner. You'll get more fish and you'll come back home alive. I had to get my shaft out of the sand and push it over to the other side here. And then I was able to free the fish. Again, got super lucky that I got it stoned on that first shot. I was able to bring it up. Here's a view from my buddy's camera. Didn't get any more for the rest of the day, but I was pretty stoked with this. It was a short day, we just did a half day dive. Got on the water by six, and we're at the sandbar, cracking a couple beers, chilling out by 11 a.m. There's plenty of fillet videos out there on YouTube, so don't hesitate to look it up if you don't know. 
or just watch this a couple times. It's not a difficult fish to fillet, just takes practice. There's also tons of way you can cook this fish. This is one of the best eating fish out there, fatty meat. We decided to bake it in some flakes. So first we use flour, then I dip it in seasoned eggs, and then use breadcrumbs or panko chip flakes, whatever you want. My wife made some rice, some vegetables, and a yellow curry sauce. This fish was bomb. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or subscribe. There's more to come. Peace.